Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kitty McNeil, one of your district nurses, and I am so excited that we're finally all getting back to school, and I know you're very busy, so I won't take up much of your time, but I do wanna to talk to you about thermometers and how we're gonna use them in school to make sure our campuses are fever-free. It's important to know that a fever is a temperature 100 degrees or more, so if you see that, please send that kid or that staff member to the health office so they can go home for the day. Before you start taking temperatures, be sure to wash your hands. And it might be a good idea to have extra batteries on hand in case your thermometer dies. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use our new thermometers to check students' temperatures in a quick way. To set up your no-touch thermometer, add the batteries and follow the instructions according to the manufacturer's instructions. Turn on your thermometer by pressing the power button. Wait for the thermometer to calibrate. When you see this screen, you're ready. Hold the thermometer two to three centimeters from the forehead and press the start button. Hold the thermometer in place until you hear a beep. Pull the thermometer back and read the temperature value. Be sure to wait at least three seconds before taking another temperature with the thermometer to ensure accuracy. So that was pretty fast and easy, right? Which is great, considering the number of people we have to screen every day. I wanted to go over a few more tips and tricks with you guys that come in handy when you're using a no-touch thermometer. One of the most common issues that comes up is that you get a temperature reading that's too low, say maybe 96 degrees. That's not an accurate reading. Usually this happens because the thermometer is too far away from the head. Make sure that you're screening two to three centimeters away from the forehead, which is just hovering away from it. Another common error code that comes up is error code one, which is specific to this type of thermometer. Error code one means you didn't wait long enough between screening students. You went from one student to the next without waiting three seconds. So make sure you wait that time. It's really important to ensure accuracy. Something else I'd like for you to consider is the environment you're screening in. If a student is in the sun, especially direct sunlight on their forehead, it's gonna to read too hot, hotter than they actually are. If that's the case, have them wait in the shade and recheck their temperature after a few minutes. Something else that comes up is sweat. If they've been out running or playing and they come in and their forehead's sweaty, it's gonna skew the results and it won't be accurate. So dry their forehead, again, have them wait. Same goes for when they're wearing a hat. A hat will heat up the head, especially beanies that come down to the eyebrows. Have the students remove those, wait, and retest them. I'm confident that you will all master this, and I'm sure after a few days, you'll think this video is very silly and simple. But if you do have questions, please don't feel bad about asking for help. You can always contact your site nurse or your district nurse, and we'd be happy to help you. Something that's important to know is when you should send a student to the nurse. So maybe students are coming to you at the start of their day, you're testing temperatures, and you identify a student who has a fever, which is 100 degrees or more. At that point, we'd want you to send that student to the health office. They'll have their temperature rechecked with an oral thermometer, and the nurse will check them for other symptoms and likely send them home. If you notice that a student has a normal temperature, but has other symptoms, we still want you to send them to the nurse. It's important to know that some students don't develop fevers even when they're sick, and some medicines can mask fevers, like Tylenol. So even if you get a normal temperature and you see symptoms, you should still send that student to the nurse. Thank you guys so much for taking this on and for being our eyes and ears. We really appreciate it, and if there's anything we can do to help you or support you, please let us know.